Okay, morning everybody. 26 participants. So everybody's looking out the window, hopefully expecting a reasonable day. Um, I have to say, looking at the uh, the forecasts I've seen, the BBC forecast and stuff on the internet, I'm looking out the window and trying to sort of rationalise the two together. It doesn't look quite that nice just at the moment, but you know, things can change at this time of year quite quickly. So high pressure system, as you can see from the uh, midday chart, firmly <coughs> established to the west of us. Um, doesn't look like it's really going to go very far for the next couple of days. Um, I'm feeding in a westerly airflow. Uh, I feel a little bit southwesterly on the ground. Uh, reasonably close spacing on the isobars today. So I think it's going to feel breezy rather than strong wind. That's sort of 10 to 15 knots on the ground. Touch a high pressure, pressure over us 20. 22, 23, something like that, just at the moment. Um, TAF's pretty short, but a um, bit interesting. You've got uh, here Farnborough saying 259 knots. Yeah, about right, 250, 60, I think, slightly uh, south to west on the ground, a bit more westerly at flying heights. Scattered at 2,000 feet. Gatwick scattered at 4,500 feet. And Heathrow not really giving anything at all in terms of uh, broken at 3,000 feet, so we can split the whole lot. Um, we'll see what the actual data says in a minute. Um, upper winds, uh, you can see the 260, 20 knots down here, 25 knots in the middle of the country. So yeah, 20 knots probably, uh, 260, 270 degrees. Pretty much westerly um, over us, but. You know, 20 knots reasonable wind strength at flying heights um, possibly means some some streeting maybe uh, sap picks um, shows you know th this cloud in here at the moment um, and I think it's trapped under a, a bit of an inversion and looking at the lark hill ascent uh, and there will be quite a lot of it a lot of it because you can see it feeding um, in across from this sort of Atlantic. Interestingly, I think it's going to dry itself out uh, to the north of us. You've got the phone effect from Wales, and you can see bits of wave there already uh, drying out across the Midlands. Uh, less so, I suspect, across us. We've got more chance of cumulus. Um, and I put the infrared sat pick up. Just get this in the right place. It just shows um, quite a bit of upper cloud as well. The brighter white bits are uh, the upper cloud uh, above freezing level. Uh, so that's sort of evident when you see the gaps in the cloud. It's sort of milky stuff at, at the mid levels. Uh, temperature wise, BBC was suggesting. 20 degrees actually today so i've gone with sort of 19 uh, locally to us but yeah they were suggesting 20 degrees over quite a reasonable area the south of england and dew points currently eights to nines probably go down a little bit uh, once we get some proper thermal activity going um, and then playing around with those sort of numbers don't sort of expect the the line here to be you know, where the cloud base is going to be. I think it really is dependent on where the dew points are. If you follow that up there, you've got about three and a half thousand feet to three nine above sea level. Um, well, I think three thousand feet above us um, for a reasonable part of the day will be about right, maybe three and a half if we're lucky. Uh, if the dew points go down a bit, uh, but it's stuck under what shows an inversion here. And if we look at the actual Lark Hill ascent, there is a proper full scale inversion at about you know, three and a half thousand feet there. That'll break up as the day goes on, it'll slowly move up um, because the temperature goes up, pushes it up, but it will still be in evidence, I think, um, for most of the day. I think there's a chance of spread out in places possibly further to the south, I suspect, and top meteo 
and sort of showing that. Um, so cloud pictures, that's nine o'clock. I think this is a little bit more um, widespread than they're just showing in, in places near Bristol and to the south. I think it's widespread over us um, just at the moment. And then, then saying at some point this morning, it's going to turn into cumulus. I suspect it will as the temperature picks up. Uh, bits of spread out in places, I think there will be. Just during the morning, not sure how how much they're showing sort of quite a lot of cloud here. I think we're going to see four to six eights uh, once it starts to break up. But again, they're not picking up the sort of mid and upper level cloud that I think is around of this so that's going to be a factor and they show that in the afternoon things drying out in the midlands and cloud disappearing i think could be an effect of the wind coming across wales uh, drying things out there but cloud over us you know six eight seven eight sometimes spread out in here you can see they're forecasting i still think that inversion is there um, but should be soarable uh, i think from mid to late morning and their thermal predictions are showing 12, 1300 meters by midday. Uh, and then early afternoon, 13, 1400 meters in and around here. So, yeah, somewhere around 4000 feet. I think that looks about right from the, the ascents I've seen. Maybe a bit less looking at the, um, the actual ascent. And the suggested distance, your standard class glider is out to the west, you know, good area around us and out to the west, I think out to Sherbourne, maybe beyond there. The wind is in that direction down the peninsula, so you're not going to get a, a sort of huge swathe of, of sea air come across here. It'll go up towards um, the Cotswolds rather than us so it should be quite good pushing out all the way out to the the west temper that with how it looks now i think this forecast is perhaps a a, a bit optimistic from what i'm looking out the window at um, showing the wind arrows there yeah i think chance of streeting as well so should be able to make some something of it so from late morning lunchtime onwards a um, couple of hundred k maybe even 300 k out to the west. Okay, so looking at that, if we look at the airspace, then going out that way, actually not really a lot. Ignore number eight. I've been ignoring that for the last two months. That's just Southampton's hours of operation. Uh, very little airspace. Uh, no times out to the west, right out to North Hill and beyond. Uh, up to the north, number 21 is just notifying, had some kind of helicopter display all day today. South of Abingdon, up to 1800 feet. No idea what that actually is, but apart from that, it's very quiet in this area. Uh, less so in terms of movements. I know yesterday was a pretty frantic day in terms of movements. Um, I'll just share the uh, the latest I got last night with potential movements. So parking on the runway. I don't know if I can, don't know, cars parked in the way, so I can't see if they've been moved. But they were moving aeroplanes around this morning. Then sometime this morning, M Star, the 727 is going to depart, hopefully before we start our operations. And then a twin engine turboprop, CASA 212, will be arriving, hopefully uh, around about lunchtime. So it'd be ideal if we can stop for, for lunch. And these ones, they often give us a, a possibility of something happening nine times out of 10. Um, they don't actually take place. So two definite movements, 727 and a Castle 212 um, during the day uh, with possible third thrown in for good measure. Okay, folks, we're operating um, on 27. We'll have the winch slightly offset to the south towards 2EE. Um, combat for the lower level crosswind. And when you want to go flying, just come out and fly. We'll get a couple of K K21s out uh, to get going straight away.